Hello, friends. It's Angela. Say hello when you come on. If you do not see the red live above me, that means you are watching the replay. So if I don't answer you back, that means I'm no longer live. Let me wait for a few people to come on, and I will share this to some pages, and we will get started. Sorry, it's late, but it's Friday night, so hopefully y'all are just hanging out somewhere and having some fun. I have been working all day in my office, well, most of the day. I did take a nap. All right. going to invite some people as soon as I share this to it. There's that. One more place. Somebody just came on. Hello. Say hello when you come on. I'm going to get this started as soon as I share to one more spot here. And I'm going to invite some people, just so they know I'm on. If I push the right button. One second. I hope you can't hear Tom in the other room. If you can, I'm sorry. He is gaming. So, there's that. Okay. I think I got enough. I got two people. Say hello. I'm going to finish uh, just typing in some names here. Alright, that should do. Who do I got? Tracy. I know that's your profile. Hello. And Miss Pam. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to give it just a, like maybe another minute. I just invited a bunch of people. And then I'm going to get started because I have some, some, uh, some things to show you. How's everybody doing tonight? I was trying to get on here earlier, but I'm, I was uh, running a little bit behind. Excuse me. So, um, anybody got some good plans for the weekend? I literally just was trying to get my to-do list done today so that the rest of the weekend, because I don't have to go back to my full-time job until Tuesday. So, I'm just trying to get all my stuff done so that I can, um, Enjoy the rest of the weekend. So, I only have a little bit more to do, and that's it. Staying inside warm today. How about you? Well, like I, I said, uh, my my thing might be on a delay. Sorry. Doing my Scentsy work today, and I got a little bit to finish up. And then, um, we're going to have a cookout Sunday, and I think uh, I'm going to go play with my new toy out in the woods, uh, Tom and I got our CCWs, so we went and purchased guns, so I'm going to go practice shooting mine. Anyways, that's my plans for the weekend. So, alright, so we got two, let me see. No, 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 I don't want to 
want to do that. They wanted me to bring somebody on camera. I'm like, uh, I don't think you guys want to come on camera with me. <laughs> All right, so let me just get started from this point on. If you, well, if you are watching the replay, you won't see the red live above me. So, um, I have with me, now these will be available for, um, starting June 1st, for the month of June, um, we have our Bring Back My Bars. If you don't know what that is, twice a year, Sensi lets us, customers, consultants, team members, anybody, they, they give us a list of uh, retired scents and then we vote on them and then they bring them back for one month we do it twice a year summer and then uh, fall I believe so these are the winners that came back uh, 25 retired bars that got voted for and so that's what I'm going to show you and B B M B bring back my bar. That's the way that's what that means. And so I have them here. Now in the summertime, when it starts to get warm out, since he sends our wax in these foil bags. So that it doesn't melt in heat. So that is why it's all in there. And I have all 25 bars. So what I think I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pick pick one out, because I have the list here of all the descriptions for you guys. I'm just going to pick one out, and I'm going to share it with you. And if you, if you have been with uh, buying Scentsy for a while, or whether you're new, um, this will help you with the descriptions and stuff. And you can put them in your Scentsy Club if you choose to, which we'll talk about that um, when I get to the, towards the end. So, let's just get started, okay? If you just jump on, say hello. So, I'm just going to pick one out. Okay, this one is French Kiss. Um, it is Sweet Fig, Tenderly Caressed by Coconut Pulp. Exotic Cedar and Caramel. Oh, this one's kind of a sensual smell. Oh, it is, it is good. And I'm not going to lie, some of these are not my cup of tea, but they're still good. It's just not my... This one I like. Um, so that is French Kiss. It's just a nice sensual smell. Kind of like if you guys have ever smelled cozy cardigan or something like that. Soft and sensual. That's what I would say for this one. Alright, I need a place to put this. Move this bar because that is not a... Um, bring back my bar. Candy Crave got voted back. Now, this used to be in our kids' collection. We used to have a... Um, a collection for just like kid smells and this was one of them we do still have this available in our body wash but this is candy crave it says just the sweet stuff raspberry sorbet cotton candy and fluffy marshmallow I'm only showing two people on here I don't know if there's more but that's okay you guys, if you would want to share this, you can also share this to your page. Okay, so raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and fluffy marshmallow. And that's exactly what it is. It's kind of on the light side, but it is a little sugary, sweet cotton candy. Hi, Trudy. How are you? Just going over the uh, Bring Back My Bars that are coming in June. So you only missed the first one, which is French Kiss. But there's 25 of them total. So these will be available June 1st for that month only. 
These are retired bars that got voted back by everyone. Okay. Mm. Honeymoon Hideaway. This was so popular. Back, I mean, I've been a consultant for almost seven years now. This one was, a, was pretty popular, so obviously that's why it got voted back. But um, we literally can't keep every scent that we've ever had because we would have, like, a catalog this thick, probably, or more. Anyways, this one is Escape to a Secluded Retreat of Dew-Kissed Lily and Tart Sweet Kiwi Shaded by Lush Coconut Palm. Oh. This one is... Oh, I love this one. It's kind of tropical. But at the same time, I feel like it might be a little floral. But it's not overpowering. It's just enough to scent your area without being like, you know to in your face. Mm, that's nice. That is a good one as well. And I didn't really ever, I don't think I ever used this in wax. Maybe a car bar, I think I did. But it's a good one. I like it. I like it. Alright, next is blue hyacinth. I don't know if you can see all the little designs they do. They're so cool. This one is Florals from Heaven. Pure Blue Hyacinth is all about the flower power. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm not a big fan of floral. I can't handle the, the very powerful floral smells. If it's just a little bit of floral, that's cool. But this one is does definitely smell like true hyacinth flowers. So if you like that fresh cut, fresh flower smell, and this one is, it's on the strong side, then this one is going to be one that you will like. Next is, let's see here, Kahika Hula. This was, this one goes back to, I want to say, one of my first couple spring catalogs that I sold from. Maybe further, but I think it was out then. This one is Say Aloha with exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. And this is just a really good tropical smell. I don't know if I would say tropical, like suntan tropical, or just tropical, tropical fruity. That's a good one. So that is Kahika Hula. Next up we have Summer Soleil. And it is pineapple and coconut milk top fluffy vanilla marshmallow. Hi Sharon. How are you? This one is just a really nice summery Fruity sweet. Kind of sweet. But more just fruity and summery smell. I'm going over the uh, bring back my bars that are coming out next month. So you might want to go back and watch the replay. You missed the first five. So you'll want to wanna go back and check that out after I'm done. So that is Summer Soleil. Um, this one, ooh, Lemon Thyme Berry, and this one is Sparkling Lemonade and Strawberry Sprinkled with Crushed Thyme. Oh yeah, this one, I'm digging, this one is, um, hi Bobby, this one smells like Strawberry Lemonade, very, very good summery smell. Oh, I like this one a lot. That might have to go in my Scentsy Club. I don't know yet, but that is Lemon Thyme Berry. Next one we have, I'm just going to pick one. Jet Set Go. 
And this one is Jet Off to a Balmy Tropical Paradise of Brazilian Orange, Jungle Papaya, and Island Vanilla. This was a really good... I, I remember warming this scent when it was out before. It's a nice tropical... I would say... Kind of fruity, but tropical, fruity, fresh. Does that make sense? That's what my nose is telling me. So, oh, this is so good. I think I think this one I had in laundry, in our laundry uh, collection before. So there's that one. What's this green one? Oh, watermelon mint. Yeah. It's, it. This one here, oh yeah, that's good. And um, also the lemon thyme berry, that one's that one's good. I will try to give you my favorites as I go. There's a couple in here that are really, really, really my favorites. So this one is watermelon mint, and it is a chilled slice of sweet watermelon sprinkled with bracing fresh mint that makes a refreshing summer treat. Now this one to me, there's two watermelons in here and I'll just grab the other one next so we can do them both together. Um, this one, watermelon mint, is more, to me, it's more like a candied watermelon. Like a maybe Jolly Rancher or, you know what? No. Well, it does This smells like that bubble gum that I don't even know if they still make it. I think it was Hubba Bubba or Bubblicious, one of those two. And it was like green and then pink on the inside of the square. That's what this is like. It's more of a candied watermelon. That bubble gum. Do they even still make that gum? I don't know. Anyhow, that's watermelon mint. Like a, then we have watermelon patch and this was the one that I think I do not have in my Scentsy Club but I think I'm going to put it in there if you don't know what a Scentsy Club is it's a um, a subscription that you can do and you can subscribe to it every month every two months or every three months there's no fee. You just pick what you want. Anything that's replenishable, you can put in there. So wax, laundry, body care, all the things. But we have a program that's called Always Get My Bar. And if you put a wax bar in your Scentsy Club, they will make it for you forever. Even if it's discontinued after that. If it goes away, as long as it stays in your Scentsy Club, they will continue to make it for you forever. So, that's, this is a good time if you, you know, have something that's coming back that you really love. You can even just put one bar. You don't even have to do a lot. But there's perks and stuff for subscribing. So, um, you can check that out on my website or you can ask me and I'll explain more. But this watermelon patch, this one is Sweet Vine riped watermelon and this is just a true juicy watermelon just like you know this one watermelon mint is more like the candy watermelon the watermelon patch is just straight up oh my gosh juicy watermelon I love it I do have a watermelon in my Scentsy Club it's wild watermelon which that was a kid scent from a while back. Okay, next we're going to do Lucky in Love. This scent has this scent was around for a long time and I can't believe they got rid of it. <coughs> like I said, they can't keep every single scent that they've ever made because they that's a lot. So the um description is a sweet bouquet of mandarin bergamot and orange with hints of peaches and berry. Straight up, I don't even get 
any of that stuff, I will tell you straight up, if you know what Love Spell from Victoria's Secret smells like, that's what this, this is, like a twin to that scent. So, and I'm not the only one, everybody thinks that, that's ever smelled it as far as I know. So, there's that. Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. If you like that smell, then you're going to want, you're going to like Lucky in Love, because that's what it smells like. So, let's do this one. It's called Ocean, and I really miss this scent. I used this, I use a lot of aquatic scents in my bathroom, but this one was, I, I'm pretty sure this was in our laundry, and I loved washing my clothes with this smell, but we don't have it anymore. And that's exactly what it is. It's cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. That's one of my favorites. The ocean, or was it the watermelon one that I just showed? My, I got a lag, so I'm not, I think it, I don't know which one you're talking about, but ocean is so good. So if you like the aquatic smells and fresh, that ocean is a good, good pick. Oh, Lucky in Love. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very popular one. And I also know that you like, um, love you very much. But that one didn't come back. But if it ever gets on the list to vote, I will let you know. Alright, next one is Mulberry Bush. And this one is Sweet Mulberry Accented with Bittersweet Orange Peels. And for those of you who are watching me maybe for the first time or you haven't seen me, the reason I'm taking, oh my gosh, I didn't even need to put that up to my nose. Um, the reason I take them out and smell them from the bottom, because that's where all the notes are. And then when you warm it, they come out. Oh, this one is very heavily fruity. I love fruity smells. This one is very strong fruity. That is so good. That might have to go. I cannot put them all in my Sensi Club. Oh, this one is this one is on my list for one of the top smells. If you follow me, if you follow me, you know that I like fruity smells, bakery smells, and the clean and fresh smells. Those are my three favorite categories that we have. That's a really, really good one. Do, do, do. Let's do this one. This one is Coffee Tree. Uh, and I will tell you right now, I already know this one I smelled before. <sighs> yeah. Bold and sophisticated. Wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. I don't even need to take it out of the bottom. This one is... A true coffee smell, just like when you're brewing it, just like it says, when you're brewing your coffee and it's just that dark, rich, coffee, bold smell, that's what this is. It's not like iced coffee or any of those kinds of drinks. It's true coffee beans. And I know some people don't drink coffee, but they love the smell of coffee. Oh, my God. And it does. If you would, if you were to open a bag of coffee beans, oh, that is so good. That is exactly what this smells like. And that is coffee tree. I know my words are backwards. I don't know how to flip the thing around to to um make them right. All right. What's next? We have a love story. Man, this is going to bring back some memories, because this, I believe, was in my starter kit. So, there's that. This one is Innocent Pink Jasmine and Sensual Amber, embraced by Luscious Dark Chocolate. Love the smell of coffee, yes. And, I mean, that might 
even wake me up without drinking a cup of coffee. Maybe not, but it's, it's really strong. Bold coffee. So, where was I? Love story. Yes. This one was in my starter kit. I think I told you that. Oh. This one is pink jasmine, pink jasmine, amber, and dark chocolate. It's kind of similar to the French Kiss one, but with more of... French Kiss is more sensual. This one has got some fruity to it. I don't know about if I smell the dark chocolate. But it's good. I like it. I think I still have my lotion, which... That's crazy that I still have that, but... All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more to go. Let's pick Oodles of Orange. Oodles of Orange is kids. This was from the kids collection when we had our, our kids collection. Um, kids will love this sweet citrusy scent punched up by fresh pineapple, crisp papaya, mango blossom, and ripe bunches of tropical berries. If you're a fan of citrus smells, this is a good one. It's sweet citrus. Um, there is, we have one called Sunkiss Citrus. It's not as sweet, but this one is like a sweet citrus smell. Kind of like orange candy of some sort. I'm not a super big fan of orange, but this one is good. It's it's a nice scent. Let's pick out this one. What is this one? Sweet Pea and Vanilla. Okay, so an ambience of raspberries, sweet pea petals with vanilla. This is a classic scent for not only Scentsy, but like... Pretty much any other type of fragrance that that um, you would get, like you know, body washes, the store, maybe the store fragrances. There's a lot of different companies that have the sweet pea and vanilla. So this is like a very classic, classic scent. So. And that's exactly what it is. It's a soft, sensual, sweet pea and vanilla. This was around for a while, and then they just decided that it should go in the vault. Yeah, that's nice. I'm running out of space on my desk to put things. All right, let's go with... Ooh. Strawberry Swirl. This one was a scent of the month maybe two, three years ago. And I think it actually did make it in the catalog for at least once. Oh, man. This one is... I love strawberries. And we don't have a whole lot of strawberry smells. So when we get one, I get pretty excited about it. Frozen Strawberry Swirl whipped with frothy milk and vanilla. Oh my gosh. This one is like so good. Um, I feel like it's a creamy strawberry, maybe like a strawberry shake. Or, um, now I let Tom smell this one and I th told him that I thought it smelled like the strawberry Nesquik he doesn't think so, but okay, we'll go with the strawberry shake. It's very good. Very, very good. Oh, this is so good, Trudy. So good. So, where did my other strawberry one go? I don't know. Did I have another strawberry one? I don't know if I even did. No, I didn't. Sorry, I'm getting... I'm getting crazy. All right. 
Next up is Fresh Cut Daisies. And that's exactly what it smells like. It's a white wax. Um, a meadow awash in summer blooms. Freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. Now, see, I, like I said, I'm not a big floral fan. But this one isn't too powerful. Not like the Blue Hyacinth. That one is like super flower power. This one's more of a refreshing floral. Like spring and summery vibes. So I might be able to use this one because it's not super floral. But it does smell like fresh cut flowers, fresh cut daisies, all that goodness. My stack is getting too high. All right, next we have Paulo Santo. Can you see that? Probably not. And it is Palo Santo Wood, Charred Cedar Bark, and Teak. I don't know what Teak is. T-E-A-K. Are the ultimate dream boat blend. And I think this one would be, you either are going to love it or you're going to hate it. It's just one of those scents. I'm not a super big fan of woodsy smells. It doesn't, I don't dislike it. So if you're a fan of woodsy smells, this one would work for you. It does have a nice scent to it, but what did I say? Palo Santo wood, charred cedar bark. Yeah, it's kind of a, I don't want to say heavy woodsy. It's kind of in the middle. So. I would probably try this one. Uh, okay, let's see what's next. Spring Forward. If Sunshine had a scent, it would be this burst of Italian bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedar wood. This one, like, you, I was putting it up there like you could smell it. I wish you could. That would be awesome. Um, this one was a scent of the month as well from before. And I don't think it ever made it in the catalog either. So this is on the light side. Um, it's like a happy pick-me-up summer smell. That's what my description is. Like, if you're having a, a day where you're just kind of like, bleh, and then you put this scent in, I feel like it's a perk, perk me up, pick me up, happy springy smell. So, there's that. Spring forward. Four more. Let's go with My Wish. My Wish is a confection of er earthy fig, Sweet Violet, and Playful Marshmallow will have you wishing for more. And Kayla, I don't think you're watching, but I know this is one of your favorites, if not your most favorite. Okay, so this one is... Hmm. I don't know how to describe it other than Fig, Violet, and Marshmallow. Slightly fruity. I think this one would be a good mixer. If you guys ever mixed your scents together, make your own recipe, this one would be a good mixer. It's just got that vibe to it. I mix, I mix mine once in a while. My favorite mixing scents combo is uh, go go mango and perfectly pomegranate. That is amazing. They're amazing by themselves and they're amazing together. So, you know, you can always try mixing your smells and making your own recipe. That also is a thing. 
All right. We have Rockin' Ruby Raz. This was also a kid scent from, I don't know when. It's been a while. It is, where did it go? A fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze, all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. So, there's that. Let me get, let me get the bottom out here. Oh, yes, this one's another super fruity one. Fruity with a little bit of sweetness. Mm. I think we still have... Don't don't quote me on it. I could look it up for you, I suppose. Um, one of our buddy clips is still... Um, so fragrance in that scent. Of course, I moved my stuff around. I can't. Anyways, I think it is Clover the Cow. Yes, yummy. Oh, I'm a sucker for fruity smells. So that one, that's a good one. I'm saving my favorite for last. There's one more after this. This one is White Tea and Cactus. This was also, um, this one was in our catalog for a really long time. Matter of fact, it was there when I first started, and it just discontinued not too long ago. And I actually bought this before I joined, and I was just a customer. This was one of my favorites. White Tea and Cactus. Did I tell you that? I don't know if I did or not. I got lost in smelling it. Oh, a clean, crisp, and refreshing floral mix with green notes. Again, it's got floral in it, but it's not super florally. And I, just the way that it's mixed together, I think it makes it perfect. Oh, and you know what? I had stocked up on this one in our laundry because it does. They don't make it in our laundry anymore either. This was one of my favorite things to wash my clothes with. Oh my goodness, it was so good. If you guys never tried our laundry stuff, you need to because it's amazing. This was a fresh, clean smell. And this, now that it's gone, I wish it was back because I really liked it. All right, last but not least, this is another one, and I'm going to tell you, you're either going to love this one. I've got to order me to... Oh, yeah. You need the diffuser or you need the oils. We have two different diffusers. Um, I don't know if you can see them back there. I'll show them to you in a second to remind me. This is the last one. And this is a love or hate. Some people get so mad when this one comes back. Um, it doesn't matter to me if it comes back again or not because I put it in my Scentsy Club the last time it came back. So I get it forever anyways. But it is Wild Black Cherry. And this one is... I love, 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 love this scent. I love black cherry, but this one is, like, amazing. It is a sweet and juicy black cherry, like an old-fashioned old black cherry soda. It's strong, it's fruity, and it's awesome. But, some people think it smells like cherry medicine, like the kind you used to take when you were a kid, or whatever. I kind of get that, but if you love fruity and you love black cherry, this is it. So, for those people who are voting for this, just put it in your Scentsy Club, man. And we can get something different. Oh, okay. So that is the 25 bars that are coming back starting June 1st for the month. You can get them as one bar for six dollars. Three, you can get them in a bundle, three for seventeen. Six pack, buy five, get one free for thirty dollars. 
or, and those you can mix up however you want, or you can get this whole bundle right here. This bundle is available to consultants right now, but you can get this whole bundle if you want to. One of each bar for $126 starting June 1st, and that's $24 in savings. So if you really want to get them all, you can do that. So, there's that. And like I said, to always get my bar. You try them out. If you don't like them, you don't have to keep them in there. But if you do like them, then you can, they'll, make, they'll pour this for you forever. Because these are made in Idaho. Sensi's home office is in Idaho. And they pour their bars themselves. So that's why they have the op they have the ability to always pour your wax for you. So if you have favorites that you really like, you put them in the Scentsy Club. So there's that, and um, I will drop the link below. If also you want to have a party, you can do that and then get your stuff. Uh, free or half off and I do reward for people who have parties for me so there's that um, the diffusers this one is our um, big diffuser oh gosh what is it I'm losing my dang mind um, hold on one second please This one, you can change the shades. You pick what shade you want to come with it. Um, and then um, you can buy extra shades to change, the, change it out through the... Um, if you want to, or you can just leave it at one shade. It changes, I believe, 16 different colors, or you can keep it on one color. There's different mist settings. Um, and then this one is our Deluxe Diffuser. It does not change shades. It does change colors, and it holds more water than that one, and it's cost less. So either one of those will work for your essential oils. I do have a video on YouTube about those, so if you would like to check that out, that'd be awesome. So anyways, you guys, um, I'm excited. I love Bring Back My Bar Time. I'm not even going to put these away because I need to get my uh, samples made for these. So I'll give you a little, a little hint. If... I have two mystery bags left. Those are the mystery bags that I make up myself. Every month is a themed month. Um, if you're interested in any of these scents at all, you might want to get a spot in June's mystery scent bag. I'll be invoicing tomorrow. If you go on my post, you will see the description of all of it. The little one... That one is, um, let me go back. That one's $65. The other one goes from $140. $140. But it's very high quality, so that's why it's, but you can also get that half price if you have a party, so. There's that. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a good time. And I'm going to get off here. Uh, I think it's going to storm. I got my window open. The wind's blowing like crazy. So, um, I'm going to get off here now. And thank you for watching. And you have a great night. Stay tuned. I'll probably go live tomorrow to show you the scent warm of the month. Thank you, Trudy. If you want me to give you your own shopping link so you can earn rewards, let me know, and I will do that for you.
Then you can turn in your rewards and get some free stuff. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good night, and I will talk to you later. Bye.